I guess the book is just not going to let me be great today. <laughs> I came back finally for part three of move. I move with compassion because I do want to pray you out. I'm tripping with this book. I'm not going to lay it on my keyboard anymore. For I know who I am and whom that I stand, whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ. This is the hour to recognize me. This is the final cut of Move With Compassion Part 3. Today was day 30 of the Faithful 40. 10 more days left. Double grace, like I said in the other two videos that you watched. I just want to take this time right now to build an altar and to pray for you. Lord God, you know the needs of the people, Lord God. And the best thing that I have for them is prayer. Prayer doesn't change um, doesn't just change some things. It changes everything, Lord God. And I ask if you touch that person wherever they are, whatever state, whatever country, whatever jurisdiction they are, Lord God, I pray that you touch them from the crown of their head to the very sole of their feet, Lord God. Whatever area they're struggling in, whatever weakness they have, Lord God, I ask that you strengthen them where they're weak, Lord God. Build them up where they're torn down. Mold and shape them to the man, woman, boy, girl, God, that you call them to be, Lord God that we may be sons and daughters of the living God. We love you. We trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord, Lord and Savior, I suggest that you get to know him. If you don't know how, please read Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus died on the cross for you and God raised him from the dead. And that makes you say, I love you. Be compassionate. Go out of your way. Do something different. Be a blessing. I love you. Goodbye for now.